idea places like this even existed in the United States. So if the Hamptons and the Amalfi Coast, Southern Italy had a baby, it would be this place, Sausalito. So before moving to the Bay, I had, I've never even heard of Sausalito. So the crazy thing is, it's only about 30 minutes from Oakland and 30 minutes from San Francisco. And it's crazy that some of the most beautiful places in the world, not even the country, are in our own backyard. So that being said, it's definitely worth a flight. And if it's driving distance from you, it's a no brainer. And it's like a small town feel, about 7,000 people live in Sausalito. And so I wanna give you a little history on the town, right? So you're gonna see all the beauty, but let me give you a little history on this part of town. So during the gold rush and after the gold rush, this is when people started to migrate here. They're like, yo, what's this beautiful piece of land over here? And so there was only two groups that really started exploring. That was your people who were balling and sailors because you could get there in about um, about an hour from San Francisco by sailing, right? And there's only wealthy people that had access to that or sailors because if you're going by horse and carriage, it would take you, it's about a hundred miles. So you're talking over a day trip and people are like, nah fam, I'm not built for that. And so you can see that in the DNA of the culture today. So you're gonna see a lot of fishermen, and then you're also gonna see a lot of wealthy, aristocratic, you know, type of people like, oh my God, I'm driving my Porsche, I'm doing this and that. And so you can feel that vibe hundreds of years later. And so in this documentary, what I'm gonna break down is accommodations, things to do, places to go, best views, everything that you wanna know. And the thing is, no, I wanna say no matter what type of budget you have, you can enjoy Sausalito, but the thing is you don't gotta be balling to enjoy Sausalito, because I've got all types of accommodations, and then also just day trips, just come and enjoy the place for the day. So first off, I'm gonna talk about accommodations. And so, one of my favorite places that I've ever stepped foot in is Casa Madrona. And they have one of the dopest suites I've seen in my life. And it's probably the dopest suite in the San Francisco area. The TV in that joint alone is probably worth more than the crib that I grew up in. But I'm gonna talk more about that a little bit later. But they have all different types of accommodations um, in Casa Madrona. So, you know, anywhere from, I think they start about $300 a night, up to like probably 10,000 a night. And so the area right is right across from the water. So you get these amazing views. Even if in a regular room, you still get a pretty good view. Or if you go in the Alexandra mansion, they have you know several different rooms. And that's where I spent most of my time in a suite. And I think that ran about $600 um, a night. And I had such a good time there. I actually ended up extending for two more nights. Everything's amazing there. So the staff, they make you feel so welcome. The food is on point. They have the fireplaces. Oh, the spa? The spa is absolutely incredible. And so it's one of those places that if you wanna go there, your girl is gonna love you forever. And then if you've just got money like that, I highly suggest it. Hotels that think about the little things. Charging station, this thing saves so much time. And just talk about the word convenience. And then the one good thing about this hotel is their shuttle car is actually the Tesla X. So thank you for thinking about the universe and thank you for thinking about saving my time. And now let me talk about the crown jewel, the Alexandria Suite. Now this place is, what I could say, you know when you're in a restaurant and they don't even put the price of like the lobster, they say at market rate, and you know not to ask, it's like if you want it, you want it. Don't ask about price, that's the Alexandria Street. So this is if you're doing like corporate retreats, your royalty, or you just got that big budget where you're not really looking at price tag, throw it in the bag, that's not me. But um, if you that person, that's what this suite is all about. So there's something that's an absolute must 
when you visit Sausalito. And that's seeing a city from the water because it looks completely different. And one of the favorite ways, one of my favorite ways that I saw it was with Captain Timothy aboard the Chinooski yacht. So this is actually one of the things that's actually really affordable for what you actually get. And so it's $500 for the first two hours and each extra hour after that is $100. And so, and I actually found him on Get My Boat. And so when I saw his like 35 reviews and they were all five stars, I was like, all right, this guy is legit. So when I got on board, I found out why he's one of the coolest mofos around. Um, and he has all the little extras that go the extra distance. And he is a real captain. I felt so safe with him. And he'll literally do anything that you need and want. Literally when I walked on board, he said, other than safety, yo, this is your home now. This is your boat. And I felt that. And then so I went for the first time and I was like, this was such an amazing experience. I said, hey, is it possible that um, we actually spice it up? And if I pay a little extra money that we can enhance the experience? He's like, yeah, if you pay it, I'm provided. <laughs> and so um, what we did is we had like a real catered lunch and we had like a butler service on board. And so depending on what you want to do, all those different options are available. And I cannot recommend him enough. I truly think he's one of the best captains I've ever had a chance of being on the water with. So like I said, there's so many different ways to see the water. And then I also went sailing. And so I've been sailing about probably six times with Captain Heather Richards. And so I actually first found her on Airbnb Experiences. And that was um, like a couple years ago. And then after I still had her information, I said, hey, I'm looking to go out. And so the cool thing about this is you can go out for two and it's a really cool date night. And so she's been sailing since she was a kid. So she knows these waters like a G. And I'm telling you, it's one of the most perfect date nights that you can have. There's just truly something magical about being on the water. You get a completely different feel of Sausalito. And one of the most magical things that you can do at sunset is this and one thing that people don't know is how accessible it is literally about 150 dollars an hour 300 dollars you could be out here for a couple of hours just experiencing some of the most majestic views that you're going to see anywhere in the world i mean there's a reason that i've done it six times and you can bring your own food your drinks and just experience like my um time i recommend is either in the afternoon where you get like, you know, you can see marine life, the whales, sometimes you're definitely put, most likely gonna see seals 100% and sometimes you see dolphins. And so that's just like one amazing experience that you can have. And like I said, you can bring food, wine, whatever that you wanna bring aboard and then highly recommend her. She's one of the coolest out. So I know I've been talking about being on the water nonstop, but we gotta eat, right? And so one of the coolest dining experiences I had was at Osterio Divino. And the owner actually happened to be there while we were there. And she's from Italy. And when I say that you can taste the love in the food, I mean it. Sausalito is the little Italy of California. So of course we had to go to the best Italian restaurant in town, Osteria Divino. And when I tell you this is authentic, this is the most traditional Italian you're gonna get in this area. The chef is actually from a small town from Florence and it's absolutely phenomenal. I backpacked Italy and I'm vouching for all of this. We originally planned to stay for about an hour and a half, get food, a couple glasses of wine and dip out. Hour and a half later, a couple more cocktails. We're like, hey, keep it rolling. We had more food, and then we, I think we ordered like two more bottles of wine, more cocktails, and the food, I'm telling you, it was a whole experience while you're there. And it's like off in the cut. So it was just real cool. And then as we, I was like, I was like, am I drunk or do I hear, do I feel like I'm in Italy? I look over and I hear like one of the most beautiful voices I've ever heard in my life. And so we get up, they're like, oh yeah, um, we do this every now and then. You know, so before COVID, she's like, we do this on a regular basis. And it just she happened to be there today. I was like, Yo, how'd you learn this? And she was just jamming out, vibing. And so it just ended the night in one of the most magical ways possible. Highly recommend it. So you can't eat all day. So we got a little bit of exercise in. Ooh, what a beautiful morning. Got up early, 8 a.m. Actually got up at like 7 a.m. this morning. So excited to do, what are you doing today? I'm paddle boarding. I'm a pro, he's scared to fall in. 
I'm a professional at this. <laughs> but there's a reason why I'm scared. In Mexico, I kept falling in nonstop, and I said, hey, I want to look good while I'm doing this, so I'm not going to embarrass myself. So I'm in the kayak. She's doing the stand-up paddle boarding. And so we're in Sausalito here with Sea Trek. And um, one of the dopest things is, like, Sausalito is, like, it seems like a place away from everything in the bay, and you're in a completely different world. Hopefully we're gonna see some seals today, a little marine life, and uh, just have a good time, get some exercise. Let's get it. And so, when we pulled up at Sea Trek Paddling, I knew that there were a fish, I was like, yo, I know they got all the licenses. And um, I actually saw one of the co-owners, and then I found out that he actually took it on from his father, so he had been in the business with his dad before, and so he was just even saying, and so one of the things that the pandemic has really taught me is, how much I actually love being outside in nature, right? So being on the water, getting some exercise pattern, I was like, hey, how's the business for you? He's like, we've actually been busier than ever. And I was like, it makes sense because people love being outside. And I tell you, it was a real exercise. And one of the coolest things is when we were um, paddling, we actually passed like the houseboats. And I was like, yo, these are actually dope. And so, you know, just seeing the water from so low, seeing seals that we pass by, is one of those experiences that were just, it was like unforgettable, really. It's just like an amazing experience and then also exercise, right? Get a little exercise, sunshine in the morning. Um, you get these for about 25 bucks an hour. You know, just come enjoy for a few hours. And literally we saw seals earlier. You might see um, little dolphins. What are they called again? Harbor porpoises, small dolphins out here in the bay. <laughs> so, and it was like world class um, as far as like the instructors and just making us feel comfortable. After that, I would have felt more comfortable than just even going out by myself. And so highly, highly recommend it. As I've said probably 10 times already in this video, Sausalito is absolutely visually stunning. And so one of my favorite things to do was just drive around Sausalito. And so what I did, there's this um, app was called Get Around, and you can rent a car for like an hour at a time. And so I looked on there and they had a Porsche 911 and it was like 25 bucks an hour. And I always had a dream of just driving over the Golden Gate Bridge. And so literally I went there and rented it and I was like, yo, this car is absolutely amazing. And so we just literally, I just was bored and I would just, I'm like, yo, let's go out and drive a little bit more. The handling of a Porsche, if you've never drove a Porsche, it was my first time ever. And I was like, for a hundred bucks, get a Porsche. And after the four hours, I was like, I'm loving this too much. I ended up keeping the car for two extra days. And so if you're wondering why I actually had two cars, it's because I went and rented the Porsche and that's why I also had the Tesla. So probably the most majestic sunset I've seen at my time in the Bay was when I drove up to Marine Headlands. This place is unbelievable. If you got the drop top, it's even better. And so also, I want to talk about the beautiful girl that I'm rolling around with in this video. So when you talk about got her own money, got her own crib, her own investments, got that good job, <laughs> you know, that's Kelly. And she's just a really good friend. And so I actually met her at a Toasted Life party at, uh, at Lake Mirror. So shout out to Toasted Life. They always have the dopest people. And then I was just talking about it, like the project that I had going on, just wanted to show up. She's like, yo, I've grown up here my whole life. Um, I'd love to show you some of the best places that we have in the city. I was like, I'm gonna show you some of the places that you've probably never, she's like, I've seen everywhere. But I took her to a few spots that she's never seen. So I just wanted to give her that credit. And she actually works at YouTube. Yo, boost this video up, yo. Now, <laughs> And so I just want to give it a shout out because sometimes you see people with me and not know what they really do And so they are amazing in their own right So I wanted to give Kelly her shout out But literally so we cruised up there and the drive down was something out of a movie I promise you if you get there at sunset and the weather's right, you cannot go wrong so when you're at the San Francisco Bridge, there's this spot where you can actually hike down about 20 minutes and that's Kirby Cove. And so again, sunsets are magical here. And so what we did, we did a hike down to Leah. Shout out to our producer. She's like, yeah, it's just about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, I was like, yo, this ain't no 10 minutes. 10 minutes later after that, we actually made it down and it was definitely worth the vibe. And so during the pandemic, we've adapted, right? We're not going to restaurants as much. And so we actually brought the picnic set out. So we you know, brought a bottle of wine, we had some food. And that's one of the things that I love about, you know, just adjusting to the times, right? So we're resilient people, not like, oh my God, poor me. Like, no, we adjust, we adapt, right? And be safe. And so we had just an amazing time down there. So one suggestion though, when the sun sets, 
make sure you start hiking back up because it gets real dark and it's a little, <laughs> for me, I'm a little scared, man, walking back up. I was like, man, what kind of animals they got out here, fam? I was like, I don't know, man. Let me take my ass back up to the top. But um, highly recommend it. It's just one of those secret spots and there's not many people down there. And so you get a view of the Golden Gate Bridge that most people have probably never seen in their life. And then while we talking about picnics, there's another cool spot actually like in the town center of Sausalito and that's called Plaza Vino del Mar. Um, they have a beautiful fountain there. And so we did another picnic there and I guarantee you as long as the weather is good, it's a vibe, you know, nobody's bothering you. And it's just, I'm telling you, Sausalito is something out of a movie. I promise you it's one of the best weekend trips you can take. So if you know anything about California, they definitely known for their wine. And so Sausalito is not known for their wine. It's not a wine region. But when we were walking by, we saw this colorful spot called Hanson. And that's like what drew us in. And then so we started talking to them and they were actually gracious enough to let us film. And so when we went in there, we learned that they were like literally one of the only organic spirit makers in the world. And so, and they also have their vineyards. And so I was like, man, is it possible? You know, like I said, they let us come in and film. They had snacks. So it's just a really good place. Literally, it's in like the town center. You can't miss it. So when we were walking by, we stopped in. We had a few drinks. The cocktails were amazing. And then we just learned a little bit more. They also had like an art gallery inside and we learned a little bit more about the family and the history and the tradition and why they wanted to start, you know, the organic brand. And so highly, highly recommended again, literally, if I don't recommend them, I'm not gonna put their ass in the video. So when I say highly recommended, it's cause we do some things, I'm like, nah, that's not really the vibe. But everything that we do, I think about my friends back home. I was like, could I recommend this to the, <laughs> could I recommend this to them? And if it's a yes, I put it inside the video. So talking about more food, you know the boy love to eat. So there's no shortage of food. And so what I wanna talk about is a place called Fish. When you talk about mood, if it was like a vibe, an actual thing, fish is actually a mood. And so it's right on the water. And so when I was walking by, I literally saw them bringing in fresh fish. And I was like, it makes sense. We're literally on the water. And so it's one of those places. And they also have a lot of um, local um, farmers that they source a lot of the ingredients that they cook with. And so I can't recommend, um, I had so many different things. Actually, I'm gonna let Talia talk about the food. So when trying to find where to go for lunch in South Salido, everybody recommended that we come here to fish. It's right along the water. The entire view is like an Italian little countryside going on. And I got the Douglas crab roll. My favorite thing in the world is lobster rolls. I've never had a crab roll before. And this has Douglas crab, which is listed as one of the most popular things to eat when you come visit South Salido. And then check out this really colorful ahi tuna salad. Look how pretty that is. But yeah, 90% of their ingredients are organic. Tons of their seafood are from local fishermen. And yeah, this just had to be a must stop when we came to visit. And I'm excited to eat. And so another thing I recommend you do in Sausalito, and it don't cost you no money, that is actually walk around. It's a very walkable city. And so you'll just be able to see the entire city, you'll see people, and then when you're out for a few, a few days, you'll see some familiar faces. So that's one of the things I highly recommend that you do. And so another beach that is not far away is uh, Murrah Beach. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And so, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna let you vibe out and enjoy the scene at Murphy. But all in all, I can't say enough about Sausalito. I'm telling you, it's a complete vibe. And so if you're looking to visit, some of the best times of year I would suggest would be any time from June until the end of October. And so the craziest thing about the Bay is some of the best weather is actually in October. So you might think, oh, summertime weather. I don't know what it is about the winds or whatever. I didn't look up the science, but all I know is literally temperature-wise, some of the best weather is in October. I was like, what? This don't make no sense. 
But yes, that's what's happening in the Bay. And so, like I said, the people in town are super cool. And if you just want to relax, get away, and be in a completely... Because like in San Francisco, in Oakland, it's a different energy. This is like an oasis away from everything. And so I think a lot of people probably in the Bay have never even seen um, Sausalito. And I recommend, even if you're doing a day trip or you're doing you know, a weekend, you cannot go wrong. And um, yeah, everyone who helped put this video together, I wanna give you a big shout out. And um, big shout out to the man behind the camera right now, Bandana Yuri. He shot and edited this entire video. And shout out to Talia. She produced this episode and really made sure we got everything that we wanted to get in this episode. I don't know how she does it all. And then shout out to Exia. Isaiah McNeil on the keys. People are always asking, yo, where do you get that music from? That boy is a genius. So literally everything that we do is a custom score. And um, I just want to send a shout out to everyone in Sausalito for being so cool and welcoming. And so shout out to San Francisco as well, Oakland, all my people. And we got so many more videos on the way. Stay tuned. I got more videos for your head top, for real, for real. Anyways, y'all have a beautiful one. And if you have any questions about Sausalito, just leave it in the comments and um, hopefully, you know, we'll get it answered for you. Take care. sunshine and rainbows right so i got the bag this is what it looks like behind the scene you're gonna see the pretty pan i mean pancake you're gonna see the pretty ass uh, golden gate bridge but this is what i look like behind the scene oh man all right man